levers today on this 12 foot, 12 harness rug. So the reason we have a, a spring lever down below and the springs is to alleviate harness flow. Uh, sometimes you will have a lot of tension on your warp, which could cause the harness to raise up. So the, the warp will cause the harness to raise up rather than the dobby, and that's called harness float. And that harness float can have negative effects inside of the dobby in the, in the uh, harness selection um, and, and just not give you good warp tension that you want. So, so we've built into, these, into the bottom of the harness, each harness has, a, uh, has two spring levers and a spring. And so you'll see the spring over here and right now they're hanging really loosely and, and if we raise the harnesses up, um, maybe we can step on the pedal over here. There we go. Um, we can see that this is a good starting place where it's just beginning to stretch this spring over here. And uh, you know, when, you, when the harness is down, then this is really loose. It's just sagging. You can see the rest of these here. So if you determine that you do need more tension to pull the harness down because you have a lot of warp ends or just a lot of warp tension causing uh, the, the harness to float. If you need to make the adjustment to uh, tighten up on your spring levers to uh, keep your harnesses from floating, what you can do, the easy way to do this is to disconnect your spring chain and then disconnect your harness chain and take up a few links, whatever you need to do, and then reconnect your harness chain. There we go. And that gives you more pull down force on your harness. And you can see how this spring here is stretched more than these other springs now. So you have more force pulling that harness down. Mm -hmm.